Hi everyone, it's Ardeth, and today I'm excited to be part of a blog hop to show you some of the newest stamps and dies from Pretty Pink Posh. These products are available in the shop now, and they're perfect for summer crafting, or even crafting when you just really wish it was summer. Enamel pins seem to be all the rage in our little crafty part of the world right now, so I brought out an oldie but goodie technique to turn one of the new dies into a collectible, unlimited edition, faux enamel element for a card front using the new beach scene die. This die cuts all the pieces right out and then they fit easily back together in the stitch circle frame. So it's perfect to cut it out once from white cardstock and then color each piece as I'm doing here. I used Copic markers to color the pieces, but you could try different coloring mediums or even ink blending for a different look. This coloring is going to end up being under several coats of clear embossing powder. So I didn't bother with a lot of detail or shading and I really just chose one or two colors for each element. I used dots on the sand portion to try and create some texture for my beach. One thing I learned later on is that as I added the clear embossing powder over top, the colors got a bit deeper, so you may want to keep your colors slightly lighter than you want them to end up being. When I finished the coloring, I started assembling the scene. I cut a slightly smaller circle from white cardstock and I coated it with adhesive tape so that all the pieces will stick when I put them in place. Putting the frame down first helps to keep them all contained and in the proper place. It was easy to put each piece where it belonged, and because my adhesive tape is dots, it's very forgiving and it gave me a chance to lift up the surfboard and reposition it when I got it slightly wrong. When I got to the tiny in-between pieces, I used a jewel picker to pick them up and place them in their spots. And when I had all the pieces in place, I flipped the circle over and pressed down all over it with my fingers to make sure they were really stuck down. At this point, I thought my water was too close in color to the sky, so I darkened it up a bit with a teal Copic marker before I moved on. And then I felt like it was a bit too dark, so I added some highlights to the waves with a white gel pen. I also added some to the surfboard. I wasn't sure how these highlights would show up under the embossing powder, but sometimes you just have to give it a try. Next was the enamelizing process. I created a handle with a strip of cardstock and used repositionable adhesive to attach the beach scene so I wouldn't have to try to hold on to it by the very edges while I inked it up with wow embossing ink and then sprinkled clear embossing powder over the whole thing before heating it up with my heat gun. This is exactly what makes my homemade embossing tray so perfect. I can heat up the item with embossing powder right to the edges without having to touch it at all. I think that the foil in the base reflects the heat back and helps to minimize the warping, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I wasn't sure how many coats of embossing powder it would take to achieve the look I was going for, and I won't subject you to all of them, but I will tell you what I learned. First, as I said, the Copic colors I chose intensified as I added more and more layers of embossing powder to the scene. They did retain their vibrancy and they didn't really change shades or anything, but the whole thing felt a bit darker when it was done than when it was started. I wish I had left the ocean a lighter, brighter blue, but the white gel pen wave caps helped with that. Also, the white frame did not stay true white, so I think next time I would color the frame as well, maybe a light gray, just so that it didn't contrast against the white card base. Next, after about three layers, it really wanted to warp as it cooled each time. So I held onto it as it cooled, gently pulling on it so that it was as flat as possible. I got up to 12 layers before I really had it as smooth as I wanted it. Before that, the melted glaze would kind of settle into the die cut lines. And really, I was also kind of experimenting just to see how far I could go. Finally, after the 12 layers of embossing had cooled, when I put foam tape onto the back and pressed it onto my card, it cracked. Because of the large size of the die cut, I wasn't completely surprised by this, and I already had a backup plan. I heated my heat gun for about a minute until it was really hot, and then I just brought it over the area of the crack, and it remelted and smoothed right out. Behind the die cut beach scene is a panel of white cardstock cut with the stitched rectangle die from Stitched Notes. I blended blue ink for the sky and aqua ink for the ocean, and I used the new wave stencil with the same aqua ink and some intentionally uneven blending to create some texture and waves. The happy summer sentiment is from the new summer surfboard set, and it's stamped with VersaFine Onyx black ink. 
There's lots of fun new goodies in this release, so be sure to head to the shop for a closer look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel for even more inspiration. Product links are below in the description and also on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.